Hi guys, Kat here, and today I am going to try to do my Betty Boop Ipsy um, makeup look. Again. I say again, because I already tried once, and I was really tired, and it didn't turn out too good, in all honesty. So, I'm trying again. So, I'm going to get right into this. So, the first thing I'm going to use is this uh, No Pore Blem Priming Water. And I'm going to use a couple drops. Because I honestly don't know what I'm doing the best. Get these out of here. And I'm going to use my Farrah brushes that also came with it. So I'm going to use the straight brush to kind of get this in here. And at the moment, yes, I know I'm using all the motions you're not really supposed to. And I'm also going to use a small amount on my eyes. that is that now usually I go straight into uh, foundation um, so yeah I'm gonna actually do that the reason I hesitated was that I know from my last attempt that there's quite a bit of fallout in these uh, Ipsy shades. And I know, again, I'm using the wrong motions because I'm dragging. Oh, I forgot, usually you do concealer before foundation. Oh well. And, okay, I know it's gonna look terrible like this but I always drag it across and then when I'm done doing that I go ahead and pat it in I just used a little too much especially on this side So I'm going to use my mirror real quick. I'm going to make sure that this is all blended nicely and then I'll be right back. Okay, foundation is done. So now I'm going to move into um, contour, which is something I do not have a lot of practice with in all honesty. Um, but I'm going to do it because I have a beautiful contour and highlight to use. Um, and a blush so I'm going to use those along with my Farrah brushes that go with those oh see I was almost forgetting concealer again so usually I know you do concealer kind of underneath the foundation I forgot so I'm just doing it above I'm using this concealer brush that came 
in the Ipsy box. Um, or actually, rather it came in the bag. Which, honestly, it gives you, for it being such a broad brush, it actually gives you quite a bit of control because it is stiffer. So you can actually go like right in on that bottom lash line because me personally like my whole under eye is dark including up under um up on my eyelid so I can seal that I do have some blemishes but I'm not going to worry about those because I don't have the right type of color correcting concealer to deal with those. So I'm not going to. Now I'm going to get into that, the blush highlight bronzer. First, I'm going to go in with the bronzer. And I'm going to use the stippling brush because it says you can. Honestly, I'm not the biggest fan of using a stippling brush. But we'll see how it goes. Fun fact, the first time I ever found out about contouring was actually before it became a thing, if that makes sense. I was like 10 years old and contouring hadn't really taken off like it has now, in all honesty. Like, it was 2005, 2006. And the way I was taught by this person who actually told me to use a brown eyeshadow, which is what I still kind of do to this day. She's the one who kind of instilled that habit on me, was to take your fingers, make the V sign, and go in where like between your ears basically pointed towards your mouth to make your uh cheekbones go mm. <laughs> and that was ages ago so i'm also gonna go in with a little bit on my hairline and take a little bit of the first two shades because honestly these are very uh warm toned which doesn't exactly match my skin tone the best. I mean, I have a warm skin tone. But, my hair is kind of cooler tone. Well, no, it's warm tone too, but like, I don't know. It just didn't look right when I put it on last night, like color-wise. Oh look, you can actually see like my itty bitty widow's peak. You can't, it doesn't usually actually come through. So that's bronzer. So I'm gonna just build 
from the top to the bottom. Usually I honestly go in a completely different order. <laughs> Usually I do highlight, um, contour, blush. Now I'm just going in whatever order. So now I'm going into the blush which is one of the Betty Boop products. And I'm going in with the Farrah Cheeky and Blush Brush. And at first I thought this blush had like zero color payout because you can't really see it very much. But when it's actually on the cheeks, like, you do get that beautiful warmth that comes through. So the next product I will be using is a Jolie Spectra Stick in the color um, Stella. Come on. Come out. I love that you can do that. And I am going to, real quick, I do my nose. I do this little area by my eyes. And sometimes I do under my eyebrow, but I don't feel like messing with that when I'm using a stick and yeah. So now I'm actually going to go back in with my stippling brush and I'm going to use it to kind of buff out the highlight just slightly so it's not just like I took a crayon to my face. You see my nose? Sometimes you've got to see how the light affects it. Okay, so there is my contour and highlight. And honestly, the contour almost, like, disappeared. Which it didn't last time. And by the way, I know I highlighted my nose and not contoured it. It's fine. So, now I'm going to do my brows right quick. I am terrible at doing my brows, by the way. So, I do them very quickly. And all I really do is fill them in. I honestly need a little brow love, but my brows are not going to give it, get it, I mean, because, you know, my brows can give anything. <laughs> my brows are honestly a little intense. But that's fine. I'm fine with that. I like the way my brows look when they're done. And honestly, a lot of other people do too. Like, I get compliments on my brows, but I don't exactly get it because they're the thing I apply with, like, the least care. And I'm out of the wax, so I'm just going to brush my brows, but they're not going to stay that way because I don't have the wax to set them. Alright, so now that that's done, I'm going to use some translucent powder, which... Where's my brushes? 
I'm actually going to use a fluffy brush that is a duo fiber face brush from Real Techniques that I already had. And this powder I'm using is actually a e.l.f. powder. It is their HD loose powder. It's a translucent powder. I'm probably repeating myself a million times at this point. Talking about what kind of powder this is. I honestly go a little heavy on the powder because... I have somewhat of an oily face. So if I don't go kind of heavy on the powder, like, it usually turns out not this. And So I go kind of heavy, then I kind of do try to steer some of it away so it does, like it's nicely finished without looking too, too awfully cakey. I mean, in all honesty, sometimes I do kind of look a little cakey, but I don't mind. All right, so now I think we are on eyes. I didn't go over my eyes too much because I kind of wanted them to still be sticky from the primer, but I'm still going to go in with a little more primer on my eyelids because in all honesty, I was trying these shades out last night. Um, and they just did not do the best in color payout. So I'm going to just little, little, and really make sure that there's still a stickiness there. And yes, I'm going in with the same primer I put on the rest of my face because I don't have an eyeshadow primer. And I'm kind of fine with that because I always just use face products. So, this is the one time when I'm going to step away for a second from from the Ipsy stuff. And I do have a couple Ipsy brushes here, but they're fluffy blending brushes. And what I've found with this palette is that you really need to have a packing brush um, to make sure that the shade really is applied properly. So I'm going to go in here and I'm going to try to do exactly what I tried to do yesterday, which is going in with my pinks and purples. So I'm going to try to take this lavender shade in the inner corner. The very, very inner corner. Just barely onto the lid. It 
because I'm not looking to get too much out of it aside from just a little bit of light in that inner inner corner. You can probably see I'm trying to use the very end of the brush to really pack the shade on so you can actually see it. So moving on, I'm going to use this super glittery, um, dusty pink color. And again, really trying to pack it on um, to get a nice color out of it. Again, you can't see it too much, but these are also pretty light shades. So now I'm going to go in here with the first intense shade, which is this nice, beautifully plum purple. And really try to pack, pack that in still. How many times am I going to say the word pack in these few minutes of the video? Probably a whole lot because I really am going to. I'm trying to get some color today. I really didn't yesterday when I tried. Kind of looked like someone had tried to punch me in the face. So I'm trying to not only use a little bit more primer. That can help the color, but I'm also trying to make sure to pack on more of the shade. So next, I'm actually going to go in with this um, super shimmery black color. And I'm going to try to do a bit of a... smoked out look I like that a lot better than I did yesterday in all honesty So I'm honestly trying to be a little more careful because I am am applying this very dark and very glittery shade extremely close to my eyeball. I made a mess of this side but this side looks pretty good I just need to blend it a little bit and since I do have 
blending eye brushes from Ipsy, even though they're not um, from the Betty Boop thing. They're from Ipsy Flash, actually, so they were like five bucks a piece, and now I can't find them. What did I just do with them? Give me one second, I'll be right back. Everything had kind of fallen in um, to each other in there. So I'm going to blend these out ever so slightly. So they actually look like they were meant to be together. Without overdoing it because I don't want that black or that purple to overtake the whole lid. I think that turned out pretty well. Um, so all that's left is lashes and lips which is a very common thing for me to have left um, I almost always save them till last why I have no clue um, it's not like you're supposed to save them for last I always try to get some of the excess ex excess mascara off the wand and I'm going in with the Tarte mascara I got in my July Ipsy box because honestly all my other mascaras are kind of old And I'm going to actually tr attempt my lower lashes ever so slightly. I didn't do a whole lot to them. Honestly, I barely have lower lashes, so I'm a little afraid of overdoing it and just making myself look crazy. <laughs> um, so now all that's left is to uh, slap some lipstick on. And in all honesty, I'm gonna I'm gonna do a nice classic bright red even though my heart's trying to tell me to either go purple or um, gray
There we go. I've got my finished look here. Thank you guys for coming and I hope y'all have a wonderful night.